We'll dive into a little Major League Baseball here. Ian Desmond, Rockies outfielder, says that he is sitting out the 2020 season. And it is a combination of... It, it, it's a little bit of everything, isn't it? Well, I, I'm going to go through, and now he he has a really long Instagram post, so I'm not going to read the whole thing. Uh, but it was you, social you issues. You can go find it anywhere you want. Yeah, it's a, you can find him on Instagram. You can find it. I mean, you just search Ian Desmond sitting out on Google, and it's everywhere. Uh, Matt said, hey, Matt Miller said, just have them all drink from the same cup. We're talking about football players. Yeah. yeah. Smart idea. Smart idea. And in, in that case, I mean, you can't blame it on nobody at that point. Uh, with a pregnant wife and four young children who have lots of questions about what's going on in the world, home is where I need to be right now, said Desmond in his post. Uh, he hit 255 last season with 20 home runs. He was projected to be a starting outfielder this season. He said in his post that instead of focusing his attention on Major League Baseball in 2020, he will be spending time with his family and will spend time helping his old little league and, quote, working with everyone involved to make sure we get Sarasota Youth Baseball back on track. It is what I can do in the scheme of so much, so I am. Uh, it's social issues. It's the COVID issues. It's family. It's everything else. Scott Shearer jumps in on YouTube and said, Ian Desmond is the first of many. That's why we wanted to talk about this today. I, both of us believe he will be the first of many that decides to sit this out. Hey, Chris, what was the other quote that you sent me that, like, we are in a labor war? Yes. Is that what he said? So he first, he first he talks about the racial inequality that's happened in baseball. He is a mixed player. Um, I don't know if he identifies as black or not, but he, he might identify as mixed. I don't know. Um, but but it is the racial inequalities that have affected him. And he says the biggest thing that he addresses in, in his statement is not necessarily of race, but he's 100% right on what he says. Baseball in America has become a rich person sport. And if you are not a person of wealth, it is very hard to play at a competitive level and continue to grow and, and have projections towards college and the pros um, because it is a very expensive sport to play at a competitive level. Yes. Um, and, and, and so he addresses that inequality more so than race in his thing. Uh, then he does talk about the safety of COVID. And then in there, he, he speaks to his fellow players and says, we're in a labor war right now with the owners, and I'm not going to be a part of it until this is all settled. So this is a this is something with a lot of nuance, and it seemed very articulate and very well thought out. And he said, look, it's almost one of those things where he waited out, and maybe if it was because of the inequality and none of these other things were going on, I think maybe he would have played and tried to address these things. Maybe if it was just COVID and nothing else going on, he might have tried to play. But I think the collaboration of everything, he thought, this is too much. I'm going to step away. Ian Desmond, so you don't know, Ian De if, if you're a baseball guy, you know who Ian Desmond is. Ian Desmond was an elite-level player a few years ago, okay? Yeah. Um, now, his, he's getting older, okay? He's on the backside of his career. That's what base, it's one of the biggest labor problems baseball has, by the way, is your most productive years, you make nothing. And then in the past, teams used to pay for past performance. And then teams got smart and was like, why the hell am I paying Frank for something he did last year? No, 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 no. I'm not giving you $10 million in the future because of something you did in the past. No, it's no, no, it's no, like not doing that. the NFL with running backs. Yes, that's exactly right. Yeah. I, I wonder, are the NFL running backs strong enough to ever hold out to do something like this? I don't think they are. Uh, so they're just going to bite the bullet. This is an entire sport thing. Um, but, yeah, he has passed his prime, but uh, was a very, very good player. Uh, and, yeah, yeah. I, thought, I thought it was interesting. I think we're going to see others sit out because of COVID. I don't know that anybody else is going to sit out for any of the other reasons. Maybe some guys feel strongly enough about the labor situation to do it as well. Um, most baseball, if you follow baseball last several years, you know, it just doesn't have a gigantic American black population. That there are a few players, it's it's really really small, and it's something Ian wants to address and fix. That goes to the money issue of baseball. Is is baseball is not being played in the inner cities at a competitive level? You got rec leagues everywhere, but but you don't have the proper coaching, you don't have the proper equipment, you don't have the best of anything, and most of the kids don't want to play it. 
mainly because of all those other things. Um, and, and, and we, we need to find a way to get it back because I love baseball. I think it's a great game. Yeah. Still. No, I, I agree. He, uh, Desmond has made over $76 million no, in his career thus far. Hurt. Um, and that's, that's part of the thing why he's able to do this, right? Like he's made his money for the most part. Now I will say this, uh, his base salary for this season, $15 million. His salary for next season is $8 million. And then in the last year of his deal, which is 2022, it is $15 million then as well. So he's still got $38 million left on his three-year contract. We know that he's retiring. Contract. But the CBA is going to change next year. I yeah. think this year is the last year of the CBA, and that's why they're trying to get this league this year in and then collective bargain next year. And so a lot of things are going to change next year. You have got... That right. Let's dive off of that, and let's talk about things that could be changing as well. We're going to switch sports. Uh, Well, before we do that, hold on. Damian Estrada said, I don't think any of these athletes should sacrifice just to keep us entertained if they aren't getting any assurance of their safety. I don't care if they're famous. That makes millions. They are still human, uh, like us. Yeah, agreed. Absolutely agreed. But at the same time, uh, you want that for everybody that is capable of working right now, et cetera. Right? well, the so here's the deal. Hang on, hang on. Here's the deal. I completely agree with that. They shouldn't have to do it. There is another part of me that thinks they also shouldn't be forced to not do it if they need that money and want to work yeah. and want to play. If they want to show up and get paid, now this is professional sports because college sports we know are above the fray of paying their labor. Um but but the pro guys, if they would like to show up and play to get that paycheck, I I think they should have the right to do it as long as and it is the responsibility of the employers, the leagues, to to make sure they can do it safely and to provide a, a safe opportunity for them to do it. Uh, that might mean the players making some sacrifices in the NBA get into a bubble and that type of situation, and it's a little more uncomfortable and you got a lot of restrictions. And I get it, but if you want to play and make the money, then you should have the right to do that as well. Yes, I, I agree. Now, it, there is a, a big difference between the uh, – Ben jumps in. He said if they want the money, they can go Gronk and join the WWE. And not everybody has that opportunity. Uh, no. Nope. But here, here's the thing. what What's the difference between oh, – How's uh, the WWE safe, safer than, than the well, that's what I'm that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it, What is the difference between – uh, doing it safely and doing it as safe as possible, yeah. right? So, is as safe as possible uh, effective enough? Is that you know what what limit are we putting it on? Because there may not be a vaccine for this until early next year. So, it, people that are out of jobs are they just completely out of jobs until until we get a virus or until we get a a vaccine? Like that that's where the question comes in. Like, does MLB? have to completely stop if there is a surge in cases if they're not going to go into a bubble. Like it, the NBA, if there's a surge in case, Well, you know what? 